calls for a Scottish Republic have been growing on social media ahead of the Jubilee celebrations later this week. Hitting out at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee on Twitter, one social media user, Linda, at Lynn Anlam, wrote, While England is going overboard with Jubilee fever Scotland is looking forward to a hashtag Scottish Republic. Another user, nicknamed Rebellious Mr. Wolf, at Anonymous Am, agreed, writing, I'll not be partying as I couldn't give a flying F for overprivileged families having fun wearing pound four billion hats for to say look what I've got and you don't. If you agree with me hit like. A third, Dorothy Wilson, at Dorothy 902370074, added, enough of being a subject. It's time to be a citizen of an independent hashtag Scottish Republic. O or Tracy, at Drankman, added, I look forward to the day where I wake up in an independent hashtag Scottish Republic Ruth Ritchie, at Ruritchie, agreed. Writing, I quite like Betty, Queen of Englandshire, but the more sick of fantic coverage of the Jubilee I see, the more I am reminded how many people can barely feed, clothe, or warm themselves, and the more I think a hashtag Scottish Republic is the best future after independence. Meanwhile, Patch Bruce, at Patch 8652, said, 65% of those in the UK and 75% of people in Scotland don't give two FS about the Jubilee. Cheers. This comes ahead of the Queen's Jubilee weekend, which begins on June 2nd. A poll conducted by the British Future Think Tank, conducted in May, found that only 45% of people in Scotland want to retain the monarchy. More than a third, 36%, said the end of the Queen's reign would be the right moment to move to a republic. Nearly 60% of people across Britain wanted to retain the monarchy for the foreseeable future, the poll found. Only a quarter of them said that the end of the Queen's reign would be an appropriate time for Britain to become a republic. A total of 85% of Britons expect that the country will still have a monarchy in 10 years' time. However, the SNP has said that it is committed to retaining the monarchy should Scotland vote for independence. The criticisms of the Jubilee come as the country gears up to celebrate the Queen's 70 years on the throne. A record 12 million people are set to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee at street parties, the Daily Mail reported. More than 200,000 lunches are expected to be held this Sunday to commemorate the milestone. A total of 85,000 people have registered an interest in holding a lunch, significantly more than the 64,000 that registered an interest in doing the same for the Diamond Jubilee 10 years ago. Many more last-minute bids are expected to be lodged in the days leading up to the weekend. Two neighbouring villages from adjoining counties in England plan to break the world record for the longest Jubilee Street party, with a kilometre, 0.6 miles long picnic. The party, which is taking place across Oxfordshire's Goring and Berkshire's Streetly, is set to include more than 500 tables spanning the length of both villages.